ये औरत नंगी तलवार पे चल रही है और उसके बाद भी दबंग है She's at the center of everything, and everybody is kind of rotating around her. She is super lady. Uh, Kamla Asi is a very generous lady. There's something really unique about Kamla that my interaction with other feminists in South Asia uh, don't have, and I think it's her amazing ability to interact with people, to make people comfortable, to get them inspired and invigorated. My dear, should I ask you something? Do you want to tell me something? मैं कमला वसीम हूँ छियासठ साल की उम्र है मेरी और पिछले 40 बयालीस वर्षों से बहुत सारे सोशल इश्यूज पर काम कर रही हूँ चार साल पहले ये काम राजस्थान में रहकर गांवों में रहकर किया उसके बाद 27 साल संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ में एफ में काम किया और अब एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चलाती हूँ उसका नाम है संगत वो एक नारीवादी नेटवर्क है साउथ एशिया में हिंदुस्तान को मिलाकर हम आठ देश हैं उन आठों देशों में जो लोग न्याय के लिए मानव अधिकारों के लिए लोगों के जीवन यापन के लिए काम कर रहे हैं एज अ गर्ल ग्रोइंग अप आई न्यू दैट गर्ल्स एंड बॉयज आर ट्रीटेड डिफरेंटली बिकॉज माय फैमिली गेव मी फ्रीडम बट अदर गर्ल्स कुड नेवर कम आउट एंड प्ले in the maidans where i was playing so i only played with boys all my life partly because there were no girls to play with they didn't have the freedom to come out and partly because i didn't like this girls games i found them very stupid ek jagah baith ke gudiyan khelte raho gitte khelte raho i mean i just needed to run around climb on trees go on bicycles do everything vigorous and all that Kamla's brother was into dancing and making dolls and you know he was very feminine and he was knitting and Kamla was climbing trees and driving motorcycles around so it was quite a reversal of roles and there was no problem the father and mother thought that's the most normal thing you know she was the only woman who was riding motorcycles around at that time it was 70s and we went and do that in a village and she would take her a workers with her on motorcycle and that's why she found Baljeet and uh, got got married to him later the biggest slogan feminism has given us is that the personal is the political and it has various meanings and interpretations for example when my children were born i like all mothers went and looked for rhymes for children and i found them either stupid or sexist so then just playing around with these children i started writing rhymes aao milkar kapde dhoye hum sab milkar kapde dhoye and i found that my feminism was coming out like i wrote a tiny pop फोर लाइन वन धमक धम भाई धमक धम नन्हे नन्हे बच्चे हम लड़की ना लड़के से कम धमक धम भाई धमक धम एंड देन आई सॉ दैट इन माय होम माय पार्टनर माय हस्बैंड बलजीत वाज वेरी डीपली इन्वॉल्व इन ब्रिंगिंग अप द चिल्ड्रन बट आई रियलाइज दैट ही वाज एन एक्सेप्शन सो द राइम्स आई रोट व सच दैट आई वॉज ब्रिंगिंग फादर्स into the work at home for example aaya itwar aaya itwar hum sab ka pyara itwar nahi school office ka dar mummy bhi ghar papa bhi ghar papa bana kar late chai mummy padhti hai akhbar aaya itwar aaya itwar and so mikhi patel has made these fantastic men with their muscles changing nappies which is what my poem was saying or bringing this cup of tea for his wife who's reading newspaper and i heard that many fathers were very unhappy with these books and they wanted them out of the house because the children used to ask papa papa aap to hum hamare sath khelte nahi ho aap to mummy ke liye chai nahi banate ho so too many uncomfortable questions were being asked and because of the nature of my relationship with my husband partner at home i didn't have any battles 
in the initially at all because he was also against patriarchy and uh, you know there was no problem otherwise and it was only when i went to rajasthan working with adivasis and dalits in the rural and urban areas i realized that amongst the poor the women were poorer amongst the exploited the women were more exploited on all indicators women were behind men and i suppose it was there that my political engagement with women's issues and with feminism started patriarchy sits in our bodies that's why yoga is necessary that's why dancing is necessary that's why because you look at our body language and you can see that we have been messed up by patriarchy we can't stand straight we can't stand without a dupatta you know we can't show our breasts i mean everything about us needs to be hidden kamla is a, is a heroine you know she's at the center of everything and everybody's kind of rotating around her so then when kamla leaves to pick up that group of 40 women and say come on now you don't have your your heroine here but you know we have to carry on it's 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 interesting I think where she felt really let down was when she was going through a very difficult time with Baljeet and his sec the woman in his life and that's when the things became very acrimonious and they were very tough for Kamla because she thought that the women's movement that has been talking about violence against women so much would be on her side but that's something that didn't happen he already used to have some mental condition this go later on it was diagnosed as manic depression but after the massacre of sikhs here when every sikh in india was made to feel like a traitor so after that his condition became worse then i had to put me to in a hostel because it became too much for her the children were very close to him he was very close to the children until about 5 years ago there was so much in baljeet which mito and i respected my husband's daughter from his first marriage she also has manic depression later on mito developed depression Ever since she was six or seven, I used to feel that this child can teach me so much. I had no idea about colors or flowers. She grew up with colors and flowers and all that. So, I mean, if I came out wearing stupid colors, she was amma. I mean look at your salwar and look at your I said oh, what's wrong my salwar is nice and clean amma it doesn't match so she would teach me those things then she started traveling with me when she was doing her class 12 examination in august that year she went with me to the fourth world conference of women in beijing she was performing in the youth programs she was doing her bharatanatyam etc after doing her ma from oxford where she went on a full fellowship bright woman she decided to do her phd on issues related to communal harmony on the ahmadiyas she had done one year of work on it and around that time she developed depression we persuaded her to take medication she didn't want to take she she felt she can fight it she took it for some time then she left it 
next year the episode came back and in that depression she committed suicide i just put my head down and accepted ki hawaon si hoti hai betiyan unhe behne mein maza aata hai उन्हें मंजूर नहीं बेवजह रोका जाना और परिंदों सी होती हैं बेटियां उन्हें उड़ने में मजा आता है उन्हें मंजूर नहीं उनके परों का काटा जाना सूरज सी होती हैं बेटियां उन्हें चमकने में मजा आता है उन्हें मंजूर नहीं हरदम बादलों से घिरा होना और पहाड़ों सी होती हैं बेटियां उन्हें सर उठा जीने में मजा आता है उन्हें मंजूर नहीं सर को झुका कर जीना छोटू इज टुडे अबाउट थर्टी वन ईयर्स ओल्ड ही वॉज सिक्स मंथ्स ओल्ड वेन वी गेव हिम अ डी पी टी वैक्सीनेशन विच हैड रिएक्शन एट वैक्सीनेशन Com- almost completely destroyed many parts of his brain as you can imagine we ran from doctor to doctor i took him to london for one month to the best hospital went to the gurudwara went to the masjid went just about everywhere my partner baljit was the primary parent for chotu so it was he who supervised and we have been so lucky that we have had the finest people looking after chotu and i think i owe chotu's life to them i owe my freedom to work to be creative to them but chotu i think has also added a lot to our personalities to meet those his older sister's personality to my personality somewhere you become humble somewhere you become accepting that you are not all powerful that some things can happen to you which you neither understand nor can you control sometimes i feel is perhaps a reincarnation of some buddhist rinpoche because he never cries He's normally 99% in the finest of mood, smiling. He is a very healthy person, and just about loves everything, you know. But then, if big things happen in his life, we don't know how he perceives them and whether he realizes what has happened. For example, when his sister passed away. he didn't notice anything when his father stopped seeing him almost 4 years ago i mean a father who spent so much of his time looking after him and suddenly that father doesn't see him anymore after our divorce even before that but the buddha doesn't show anything So this is what Buddhism teaches you that you should be able to accept life as it comes, and Mr. Chotu Singh does that automatically. And I have seldom thought in my life, oh, thirty-one-year-old son of Kamla Basin, he would have been a scholar, or he could have been an IPS officer, or an IAS officer, or comparing him to anyone, or he could have been a real activist and leading struggles. I mean I seldom find myself thinking about those things I just accept him as he is and I think it is helped a lot and maybe maybe he helped me also accept me to sudden death because he has prepared us from inside 
to accept whatever happens. So perhaps he is responsible that I can continue living because mythos going was the worst thing that could have happened to me. And Mito was not just my future, but she was Choto's future. Like after I go, she was the one who would have looked after him and taken him under her care. Not there anymore. Show me the latest steps, whatever you've done. जिंदगी में उतार चढ़ाव तो बहुत आए मगर पता नहीं क्या बात है कि कभी ऐसा नहीं लगा कि जिंदगी कुछ बहुत ही मुश्किल है इस वजह से आए उनसे डील करती हूँ Coming to Delhi was like a fish, a feminist fish coming into feminist waters. 79 was the time when our struggles against dowry were increased, were really on top. And I became part of every group in addition to my official work with FAO. Now that used to continue on the side. And then I joined women who were doing street theatre. And I was part of the street theatre group and then I started writing more songs and slogans. She's just a solid, solid friend. So we 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 will grow. We are growing old together, and uh, we'll be there for each other. मुझे लगता है कि women's movement oxygen जैसा है. वो चारों तरफ है. सवाल ये है कि वो movement मुझ में कब घुसा? तो मैं तो ये मानती हूँ कि जब से मैं बच्ची थी, ये मेरे अंदर आवाजें घुसती रहीं कि बेटियाँ बेटों से कमतर नहीं होती, मर्द औरतों से ऊपर नहीं होते। मन में एक विश्वास सा पैदा होता गया कि मैं जहाँ जाना चाहती हूँ वहाँ जा सकती हूँ। 